Let me take you into the town of Kazimierz, where in 1993, Steven Spielberg shot his film, Schindler's List. This film drew international attention, but the town of Kazimierz was established in the 14th century and was originally a royal city of the crown of the Polish kingdom. Today, it's located south of Krakow Old Town. For many centuries, Kazimierz was a place of coexistence between Christian and Jewish cultures. Its northeastern part of the district was historically Jewish. But in 1941, the German occupying forces took those inhabitants and forcibly removed them and placed them in the Krakow ghetto. 17,000 of those residents from the Jewish quarter were eventually brought here to what became known as the Jewish ghetto. And Christoph was sharing some thoughts as to what took place here on the plaza. In fact, Christoph, you explained to me that at any given time, the Germans would bring out one to 2,000 of the residents here exactly. for the selection process. Yeah, the selection goes this way. So you can either be able to walk or not. And in here, they actually select the people. If you are not able to walk, you've been removed from here to the concentration camp. Which and basically was a death sentence. Exactly, exactly. And this is why you have the chairs in here, because the people, they still have hope that maybe they survive. So this is why they want to take as many useful things as they could. And of course, they were not able to take all those things. But they would bring, they bring their chairs. Exactly. This is why they leave them in here. And this is why the monument like this, to remind us about those people who die in here, who've been moved from here to die in a concentration camp. How many people out of the 17,000 that were put into the ghetto survived? I would say around 1,000, something like that. Not many, not a great right. group, actually. So just terrible. Exactly. But also, in addition to the selection process here in the plaza, some horrific things took place before anybody got sent off to a particular extermination camp. Exactly. Some really, really terrifying things happen, especially with the kids. When you think about that, it's really, really terrifying. So, for example, you know, the, the commandant from here called Amongat, he actually take the small kids from a mother from the mother exactly and threw it on the ground just crush it this way so, so we're talking down. about a, an infant exactly taken an infant, and thrown taken, throw it away on the ground and also you know with the a little bit older kids they just take them all together put them head to head so they could only use one bullet to kill them all they would just murder children so right basically, here basically you know it looks like a river full of blood there were so many people killed in here now it's one of the things that you know it's hard to fathom what took place here because today you look it's an open plaza and you can't believe the horrors but that's why we do this to exactly. talk about these things exactly. and you had mentioned there's a pharmacist that was here and he was the only Christian in the ghetto yes. how, how did he manage to be here he was really smart because he said that the pharmacy is actually needed in a ghetto because if the epidemic happened the walls of the ghetto will not protect the Nazis from the epidemic this ah. is why they let him stay so isn't that interesting? And so, this is why he could use his position to help those people in here. Right. Really famous passage. And so we're going to take a walk over there and take some, take in what they've what they left behind because it's an interesting little museum that yeah. talks about yeah. some of what he experienced. Exactly. All right, off we go. Yeah. So the edge of the ghetto has a few reminders of the wall that contained the Jews. And the wall itself was designed by the Germans to look like, what do you think? To look like tombstones of all things. Um, really unbelievable. And if you think the wall's not high enough to keep people in it, just take a look over here because it's more than high enough. In fact, it was impossible for them to escape. The only way out was a deportation which was basically a ticket to extermination at one of the camps. Mm -hmm. 